Bobby Lashley is the new WWE champion. I honestly can't believe WWE pulled the trigger. So that was an important episode of Monday Night Raw. Obviously, it took a while to get to the point. You know, Randy's voices, Braun acting like a baby. When I saw that Braun Strowman is about to have a mystery partner, I thought he's gonna pick his classmate again. You know, same age and stuff. Bobby Lashley has finally become the WWE champion. And that was a pretty emotional moment. I think it's great. You know, I'm happy for Bobby Lashley. I do feel sorry for The Miz because that was a... What, what, like a one week title reign? But don't worry people, The Miz is gonna get something even better. The Miz is going to wrestle Bad Bunny at WrestleMania. Welcome everybody to a brand new episode of Greatness of Raw. Not a bad episode, important episode. We saw a lot of crap, obviously, but WWE played with our emotions you're about to get the wwe championship match well you're actually going to get the wwe championship match a bit later well you see it's gonna happen in the main event now it kept me watching so i guess that's a positive when the mist started to run i thought wwe worked the shit out of us and even though i knew that bobby lashley winning the match is the right choice right decision it's probably going to happen I still find it shocking. I mean, we're talking about Bobby Lashley. This Bobby Lashley, this Bobby Lashley. It's crazy how easy it actually is to fix a buried or whatever WWE superstar. Just make him win matches. Yeah, that's kinda it. Make him win matches, make him a bit more serious. And now you have a new star. Also, always go from trunks to pants. I mean, look at Ricochet. They got rid of Ricochet's pants and I don't remember the last time he won a match. Drew McIntyre kicks off the show and he's talking about his later struggles in the WWE, but he promises that he will not interfere in The Miz versus Bobby Lashley match. He will see that man at WrestleMania, but he's gonna make sure we're gonna get a rightful champion. The Miz interrupts and he doesn't feel that way. I mean, Bobby Lashley is the reason you lost the WWE Championship, so he's trying to basically manipulate Drew McIntyre into helping him retain the championship. Obviously, Drew McIntyre is not that kind of man, he doesn't care, and he's not even considering it. We got Sheamus, who is Drew McIntyre's opponent, and he says after he's done with Drew McIntyre tonight, Drew will be in no shape to do anything. They waste no time, we got a big brawl, The Miz and John Morrison look scared, you know, grown-ups are fighting, and we saw Drew McIntyre versus Sheamus, which was actually a very good match, in my opinion, a pay-per-view level match, very physical. So it's still kind of a shame that we never got that WWE Championship match. It seemed like WWE are going for it, but changed their minds, or I don't know exactly what happened, but it's kind of a shame it was never a WWE Championship match. So that was a very, very good match, and like I've said, pay-per-view quality stuff. The finish was also really awesome. Sheamus tried to do a bro kick, and Drew McIntyre tried to do a claymore, and Drew McIntyre succeed, 1-2-3, Drew McIntyre wins the match. Great stuff, and uh, when Drew McIntyre said that he's not gonna interfere in Bob Lashley versus The Miz match, it got, it got me even more interested in this match because I knew that it's not gonna be the obvious Drew McIntyre interferes, no one wins this match, fast lane, Lashley versus Miz, or perhaps a triple threat match, and that's the way Bobby Lashley wins the match, by pinning The Miz. So I was happy that Drew McIntyre said he's not gonna interfere in that match. Who else would wanna cost them the title? Not nobody, right? So I was really happy about that. Then we saw Naomi versus Nia Jax, which was actually a very short match in which Nia Jax won. Lately, Nia Jax is on a roll. She's winning all the matches, pinning SmackDown Women's Champion, Raw Women's Champion, now uh, Naomi. Are we gonna see Nia Jax in a WWE uh, women's title picture at WrestleMania? Hopefully not. We, we don't want to see that. Never, ever. Ne never. I like Nia Jax. I love Nia. We don't want to see that. Do we want to see it? I, I don't think so, right? I love Nia. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying we don't need to see her in the title picture right now, please. It's time for the WWE title match. Bobby Lashley versus The Miz. Lashley is in the ring waiting for his opponent. The, the Miz is nowhere to be found. Well, The Miz has some stomach issues. Yes, boo-boo, I have some stomach issues. I cannot wrestle. We see Adam Pearce, Morris, and everyone's trying to figure out what is happening right here until we got Lashley basically saying, you're gonna defend that championship. And Pearce says The Miz will defend the title at 
10 p.m. What a sneaky way to get ratings, WWE. Wow. <laughs> oh, and by the way, uh, watch till the end of that video for uh, nudes. Bruce Roman said that Elimination Chamber sucked. Everything sucks. I'm a big giant baby. Everything sucks. Your breast milk sucks, mommy. It sucks. Yeah, so I don't necessarily understand what this Braun Strowman character is exactly doing, but he's acting really, really stupid. Everything sucks. We see Shane McMahon, Adam Pearce, and obviously Braun Strowman is blaming these two because, well, there is a conspiracy against Braun Strowman. That breast milk was kind of sour. It sucked. Shane says Braun is a little angry about his inability to reach his own goals, but they're gonna help him. He takes a shot at uh, Braun's reading level, as he should. Braun Strowman is a baby. He cannot read. Then again, it's, it's kinda mean, Shane. It's kinda mean to make fun of big, giant, f***ing babies. He says, okay, we have nothing against you, you're gonna get a WWE Tag Team Titles match. As a matter of fact, your mystery opponent is Adam Pearce. Okay, Braun Strowman says, that's fine, that doesn't suck. No, let's get this done and over with. I wanna play Fortnite. Braun. So we saw the match, WWE Raw Tag Team Titles match. It was Braun Strowman and Adam Pearce versus The Hurt Business. And it was pretty obvious we're not gonna see new champions. It would be really, really stupid. So Braun Strowman, a very big, tall, strong baby, uh, he does his finisher to Shelton Benjamin. Shane McMahon says tag Adam Pierce. Trust me, just tag Adam Pierce. It's done, it doesn't matter, just tag him. He tags Adam Pierce and Adam Pierce got pinned. Guess what Braun Strowman thinks? Guess what Braun Strowman thinks? He thinks that all of this, the entire thing, the entire WWE, this match, the WWE champion, Universal champion, every champion, every wrestler, the wrestling business, Sucks. We're about to see two musicians collide, and I don't necessarily want to talk about this, but we got Elias versus Damien Priest. Damien Priest wins. Who gives a crap? Professional reviewer. We saw a Randy Orton interview. He basically says, I don't know what happened. I don't know what I puked, but I know it's all Alexa Bliss. We see Randy Orton in the screen. Other Randy Orton. And yeah, he says soon you will come face to face with everything that you have ever done, Orton. And I assume that's Alexa Bliss or The Fiend? I have no idea. Or Randy's Voices, perhaps. Randy's Voices have their own television show now. They got over. I've said that many times before. I really don't like this rivalry. I, I, as a matter of fact, I hate it. I think it sucks. Sucks! Of course, WWE are trying something new. Sometimes new doesn't work, you know, <laughs> raw underground. That sucked. It was new. Was it good? Not really. So sometimes new, unique does necessarily mean good because this whole Alexa thing, it's it's shitty. It's, it sucks. It's really, really bad. The WWE Championship match is next. Bobby Lashley versus The Miz. We're about to see the match. The match starts and The Miz starts running. And Bobby Lashley wins the match by a count out so he's not the WWE champion I was like okay that's it but but Shane McMahon says if the Miz is not gonna defend the championship later tonight we will strip him off the championship and Bobby Lashley will be the WWE champion the Miz also said you know what I'm I can, I'm the best WWE champion possible I'm a host I'm a commentator I'm a wrestler I can do it all but Shane McMahon says Good luck. So we will see the WWE Championship later tonight. But I still thought Lashley's not winning. They're gonna basically do it at fast lane, but that's not necessarily what we got. Charlotte Flair says she wants the Raw Women's Championship because WrestleMania is about to happen. I'm Charlotte Flair. I'm Flair. I can get a Raw Women's Championship just like that. I won't even bother wrestling in the Royal Rumble matches. Why would I need to do that? I can just ask for, well, I can demand a Raw Women's Championship match. Woo. That's basically how it sounded. Like, no, I'm not gonna try to earn that opportunity. I will get that championship match. Woo. Of course, we saw Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax, they said they're gonna be in that women's championship match, which is very unlikely to happen, by the way. And we got Charlotte Flair versus Shayna 
Baszler, which was okay, I guess, and Charlotte Flair won the match. We also saw Riddle and Lucha House Party versus Retribution, and since Retribution are in that match, of course, they lost. Mustafa Ali got angry. I'm going to show you what we're all about. Riddle versus Mustafa Ali, the match is okay. It's pretty all right, you know, I'm missing Mustafa, Mustafa Ali in the ring. But that finish, I don't know exactly what we got. That's the first time I've seen that move. I don't know who got hurt more. So look, take a look at this. What it, What is exactly happening right here? And that's how Mustafa Ali pinned the United States champion. It's kind of a shame though, speaking of United States championship, that MVP is not the United States champion. Lashley is the WWE champion. MVP is the United States champion. I believe they're kind of missing a good opportunity here. And of course, we got the main event. As a matter of fact, it was a lumberjack match for the WWE title. We saw a bunch of jobbers surrounding the ring. Not only jobbers, we also saw Jeff Hardy. Riddle. I mean, whatever. It was Bobby Lashley versus The Miz. The match starts and it's happening this time for real. And it wasn't long. I believe it was like under 10 minutes before the show ends. So uh, Bobby Lashley was basically playing with The Miz until The Miz stepped out. Bobby Lashley is the new WWE champion. You can see the man is... I, I believe he was crying. His eyes were really, really red. And uh, of obviously the guy got emotional. So... That was a pretty awesome moment in my opinion. Obviously, since he's a heel, he's trying not to cry, but you can see that he's really, really trying. So that was your Monday Night Raw. We have a new WWE Champion, and it's really, really interesting what we're about to see. Well, honestly, it's pretty obvious, right? We're gonna see Bobby Lashley versus Drew McIntyre at WrestleMania. Not quite sure if he's going to defend his... Uh, championship at fast lane, but I believe we're gonna get a number one contenders match in which Drew McIntyre is gonna win. Now the unfortunate thing is, I'm almost sure Drew McIntyre is winning that WWE Championship at WrestleMania, which I don't mind, but Bobby Lashley should hold that championship for a little longer because Bobby vs. Brock is a match that I definitely wanna see, and perhaps Bobby even going over. You know, let's make new stars. Whatever the case may be, I'm happy for Bobby. Kind of feel sorry for The Miz. That's the last time he ever touched the WWE Championship. But it is what it is. So thank you for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below. Did you enjoy this episode of Raw? And do you like Bobby Lashley being the WWE Champion? Obviously, it kind of sucks that The Miz didn't hold the championship for a little longer. But... I don't know, I still don't know why they didn't give the championship like a couple of months earlier. Whatever, the great one, peace, love and hugs, it's been a pleasure.